All right, we'll go ahead and get started. If you have a question for head coach Mickey Collin, please raise your hand. I'll call on you. Doug Feinberg, we'll start with you. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, coach. Good to see you. You too. Is it nice to finally face a team that I might have had more injury slash problems than you guys have had this year in Washington tonight? Yeah, you know, we were uh, – we joked at the beginning of the season when we scrimmaged that, you know, the difference between them and us is that he knew that they weren't ever coming. You know, with us, it was kind of getting them here, our players here, and, and then trying to integrate them. So – yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, in some ways, it's just nice to have a real warm-up tonight. I don't, I don't think that, you know, and I'm not saying it's a big story here, but one of the things that's incredibly disruptive about playing the way we've been playing is that we get almost no warm-up. Um, so our last three games were after a previous game where you can't get on the court until 30, 35 minutes before the game. So kind of getting that in that game day routine is, is kind of therapeutic, I think, for everybody. So it's like your college days then with a 30, 35 minute warm up? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it's the whole, is, is it a men's women's double header? Is it a tournament setup? Um, you know, about the only time that our team does this um, in a, in a regular year would be like a preseason game. Like when you go to Mohegan and you play in those preseason games and play a, a six o'clock and a nine o'clock tip. And so, you know, I think, um, you know, when you have the 10 o'clock game, you're following a 7 p.m. game and, Games don't get over till nine and then they've got to clean the court. And so, you know, kind of your whole game day prep, you know, getting out here, everybody getting shots up, starting at two hours before, um, you know, even, even from a coaching perspective, getting here and having the time to write on the board and the space. And so I'm enjoying that. Beyond that, my grays are gone. So I know Bill Lambeer um, is the talk of the bubble because he let his hair grow out, but I was getting very, very gray and starting to look my age. So, you know, thankful that uh, you can see no grays and some new highlights. Thanks to uh, Britt in the uh, Wubble Salon. Uh, Bailey Johnson, go ahead. Hi, Nikki. Obviously, y'all played a bunch of games in a short amount of time. What's it like finally having a day off and a two-day prep? Yeah, I mean, it still ends up being a one day prep because you got to give them that day off. But I think it allows you to do a little bit more with that day um, because they've had they've had a day um, to not think about it, a day off their legs. I think it's as therapeutic for the coaches to not like immediately get done with one game and, you know, have to like immediately dive into the next team. I think we all kind of took a breather um, Sunday night and certainly regrouped and started meeting and talking and preparing on Monday. But um, I think everybody needed it. I mean, obviously we, we need to hit the reset button. We need to look at this as, you know, this break being at the midway point and, you know, kind of trying to turn things around from here. All right, last call for questions. Doug Feinberg, back to you. Go ahead. Nick, you doing anything different in the lineup tonight? Same as the other day, the Billings come off the bench, or are you mixing it up again? Yeah, we'll start the way we did in the last one with uh, um, Courtney, Blake, Benaja, Mo, and E. Good luck. Thank you.